Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today doing another draft class video. Of course we are on the Jets because they held, as you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail I hope, the first pick in the 1996 NFL Draft where they took Keyshawn Johnson. But before we get into it, Madden, let's go ahead and check out this draft class as it happened in real life. So it was a very different time back in 1996 as receivers would go very, very highly if they were good enough. And the last time we really saw a receiver go very high, in my recent memory, is Calvin Johnson, number two in 2007. I know Justin Blackman was a top five pick in 2012. And in the past, like, five or so years now, it's from 2012 to 2018, you know, five or six years, I really can't remember any receiver going in, like, the top three or the top five. And I'm sure I'm missing someone. Uh, Sammy Watkins was a top four pick, actually. The, the Bills traded up to take him at four in 2014. There are not a lot of options, but to have a receiver go number one overall is pretty insane. And it was quite an outspoken receiver in Keyshawn Johnson out of the University of Southern California, but he was a stud for the Trojans, and it was actually pretty good for both the Jets and the Buccaneers. But wild to take a receiver at number one, especially nowadays. But Kevin Hardy, I'm going to be honest, I don't know too much about him. But Pro Bowl linebacker for the Jaguars was an All-Pro in 1999. I looked into it. Simeon Rice was drafted by the Cardinals. Obviously came to be an absolute superstar with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And did he do anything? Yeah, he was a three-time Pro Bowler. Uh, but only once with the Cardinals. So yeah, mainly known for being a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. At least in my opinion. Simeon Rice, beast. But Jonathan Ogden, Hall of Fame tackle for the Ravens. Terry Glenn, Pro Bowl wide receiver. Tim Biakapatuka was fantastic. Probably the last great Michigan running back, you could say. And they had some good ones in the early and mid-2000s. But probably Tim Biakapatuka, probably the best. Didn't do much in the NFL. Willie Anderson, Pro Bowl tackle for the Bengals. Walt Harris, Pro Bowl cornerback for the Bears. Eddie George was obviously a beast with the Oilers before they moved to Tennessee. Marvin Harrison, Hall of Fame wide receiver for the Colts. More pro bowlers. Eric Moulds was really um, good for a few years. I think pretty good special teamer as well. There was no Don Beebe for the Bills, let me tell you. But Jeff Hardings, another pro bowler. Jermaine Mayberry, pro bowler. Ray Lewis, Hall of Famer. One of the best linebackers in NFL history. Uh, up there with, like, you know, Dick Butchis and others. There are other good linebackers as well. Jerome Woods, another pro bowler. Tony Brackens was a beast with the Jags. Mike Allstott, probably the best fullback in NFL history. And now, I'm not including, like, how Jim Brown maybe was a fullback or John Riggins was a fullback, even though they were, like, the primary tailback uh, for their team. Mike Allstott, true fullback, lined up, you know, in front of the halfback after the quarterback and some of those i form packages. Mike Allstott was a beast. Lawyer Malloy was fantastic with the Patriots and the Seahawks. Moosin Muhammad was a beast. Who else is in here of any major note? Torrey James, cornerback, pro bowler. Don't know too much about him, but Brian Dawkins, Hall of Famer for the Philadelphia Eagles. Also played a little bit with the Broncos as well. More pro bowlers in Detron Smith and Donnie Abraham. Teddy Bruschi was in this class, as well as Hall of Fame receiver out of uh, Tennessee, Chattanooga, Terrell Owens, T.O. Mike Flanagan, another pro bowler. Donnie Edwards, pro bowler. Steven Davis. I'm sure there are more in here that I'm missing. John Runyon was a phenomenal tackle. Phenomenal tackle. Also, as you can see, for uh, New Jersey, my home state, he is uh, the member of the U.S. House of Representatives. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, huge eagle there. Who else is in this draft class? Joe Horn could be looking at some Hall of Fame votes, obviously with the Saints and not so much with the Chiefs there. Zach Thomas was an incredible linebacker for the Dolphins and Cowboys. How many times did you make the Pro Bowl? Seven times. Five-time first-team All-Pro. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Second-team All-Pro twice. Just a tremendous, tremendous player uh, for the Dolphins. I guess he was only with the Cowboys for one year. I thought it was like probably three, but I guess not. I'm mistaken. Leroy Glover. 
Tremendous defensive tackle with the Saints drafted by the Raiders here in the fifth round. Marco Rivera, I can't tell you too much about, except for he was a pro bowler as well. And then the undrafted players, Larry Izzo, uh, Casey Wiegman. Don't know anything about those two players. But Adam Vinatieri, going to be the NFL's all-time leader in points. Alindo More, another good kicker. And then Josh Miller, I can't tell you much about, but also was a pro bowler. But yeah, this, uh, this draft class was just absolutely stacked. And let's go ahead and take it into Madden NFL 19 with the custom draft class feature. We're in week three or week four. We're going to import the draft class here, the 1996 draft. Don't recall who I downloaded this from, but if you made this and you know who you are, sweet. This is uh, an interesting order for it all. Keyshawn Johnson, a first round player, but he's not listed at number one. Not anywhere near the top here. There's Lawyer Malloy. Interesting order. Where is uh, Keyshawn Johnson, number 32? Interesting. All right, I mean, we'll deal with it. We'll see what happens. All right, the 1996 NFL Draft is just about to get underway here. Don't worry about it saying 2019 on the screen. As we hold the seventh overall pick, the Panthers are picking number one overall. The Panthers took in the first round of this class. Uh, it would have been, what, one of their first years in the league? When did they start? They were they were created in... 1996 was their second season. All right, they took Tim Biaka Batuka. I doubt they take him number one overall here. Who would we want to move up for? I don't know. Of course, everything is auto-scouted, as I have looked at none of this, so we'll have to see. I usually like to go through and critique, you know, some of the ratings. But we're just going to kind of play it by ear here and see what happens, see who's available. And take this one by one here in the first round. As the Panthers go, Regan Upshaw out of Cal. He went number 12 overall to the Bucks in real life. I really can't tell you much about him. As the Bucks are on the clock now, and they take Jerome Woods, 82 overall. He's a pro Bowl safety for the Chiefs, taking it number 28 in real life out of Memphis. And here goes at number two, John Mobley to the Eagles, 77 overall. Raiders go Alex Molden, cornerback out of Oregon. Reggie Brown out of AM goes to the Dolphins. And the Broncos take Daryl Gardner out of Baylor, 78 overall at number six. And we have an opportunity here to really take whoever we want. And I think that player is going to be Ray Lewis. Ridiculously fast out of the U, 4-4-9 speed, incredible bench press. And what looks to be pretty great top three skills. Welcome to the team, Ray Lewis. 77 overall. Interesting. Interesting. Even my cat had something to say about that. 77 overall for Ray Lewis. Now, Ray Lewis is a 13-time Pro Bowler. His first year being in 1997, which he was a Pro Bowler through 2001. And then again in 03, 04, and then 2006 to 2011. And it became more of a popularity contest. Really? You're going to give Ray Lewis a 77 overall? Did you just take a random draft class and just change the names and locations without altering the stats? Are you are you joking me right now, dude? Ricky Dudley, 80 overall at Ohio State. Walt Harris to the Colts. Kevin Hardy to the Lions. Torrey James to the Chiefs. Niners take Randall Godfrey as Tim Biaka Batuga, 81 overall goes to the Redskins oh I'm not a fan of this draft class lawyer Malloy goes to the Bears the Bills take Lawrence Phillips out of Nebraska Cedric Jones goes to the Vikings Ravens take Eddie George there he goes very interesting there Patrick Sapp goes to the Cowboys Jonathan Ogden Hall of Fame tackle is a 76 overall who made this Really, who made this? This is so bad. The Browns go ahead and they take Duran Jenkins out of Tennessee. Leland McElroy goes to the Jaguars. Simeon Rice, 77 overall to the Cardinals, who actually took him in real life. That's fun. Tony Brackens, only a 73 overall. Goes to the Packers. And how are you going to give Tony Brackens a 73 overall? He was a good player, especially coming out of the draft. Has 55 career sacks. 
That is just... Uh, I don't think this guy did anything as I simulate to the next pick to alter any of these overalls whatsoever. Which really, really frustrates me. He has Eric Mounds here instead of Eric Moulds. Oh, man. Amani Toomer was in this draft class. I must have missed him when we were looking through it. Jeez. Yeah, Amani Toomer never made a Pro Bowl. That is crazy. I skipped right over his name. All right, here in the second round, we're going to take Brian Dawkins, and he's going to be probably trash. Well, 79 overall superstar development is not exactly trash. Again, 79 overall seems a little bit low for one of the best safeties in NFL history. 88 speed, 88 hit power, I don't really mind. He's a good, he's a good player. Speed probably could go up. Zone coverage could go up a little bit. But Brian Dawkins, I guess, welcome to New York. Now in the third round, we're probably going to take a uh, wide receiver pretty soon. Have some good ones. Eddie Kennison was good for the Chiefs. Didn't even see him in the draft class when we looked through that. We're going to take Moosin Muhammad. Decent combine, I guess. Good good speed, you could say that. Good top three skills. Moosin Muhammad, 76 overall, star development, not too bad. Maybe he did alter some of these numbers. He was just like really conservative with overall. Now, it, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I really don't know what this guy did, if I'm being honest. Really have no idea. Moose and Muhammad, great player, though. He was awesome with the Panthers. And now we welcome him to New York to become a Jet. All right, fourth round. Tell me Terrell Owens is still available. That would be my pick. We're going to take him right now, and then maybe Joe Horn. Just go four wide receivers. That's some pretty good speed for T.O. I don't know if he was a 4-3-5 guy. Let's go ahead and check. 4-4-5. Four, four, a little bit quick there on that 40. But um, that's probably even a little bit fast, considering that uh, the hand timer I don't trust. But T.O., another superstar development player. One of the best receivers in NFL history statistically. And will be a Hall of Famer at some point. Fantastic speed. It would really, T.O. was a catch in traffic and a catching machine. Good route runner as well. But phenomenal hands, and he's been shafted overall with like they he should have like 92 speed with 87 catching 86 catching traffic something like that because you got to make him a little bit juice to was pretty good coming out of college i know he was like a late round pick i think a lot of that is due to the fact that he went to you know tennessee chattanooga but to was pretty dominant was straight coming into the nfl yeah as as soon as terrell owens uh started you know actually playing in some games 936 yards his second year in the league, eight touchdowns, and then in only 10 starts in 1998 as a 25-year-old, over 1,000 yards, 14 touchdowns. This is a guy, you know, you guys look, here's a guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seasons of nine touchdowns or more, odd stat to pull out, but that's a lot of seasons of nine plus touchdowns, and only two of those were nine touchdowns a year. A lot of those were 10 plus. 14, 13, 16, 13, 14, 13, 15. Those are incredible seasons. As we now get to the fifth round, if Joe Horn's available, I'm probably going to take Joe Horn just for the name value. But we'll look at some of the other positions to get a little bit more variation here. But this is a Jets team that could use some wide receiver help. And why not, you know, take some of the best receivers in NFL history and build a team around them? Why does it keep like going to the bottom there? I don't like that at all. Who's here still? Pretty much nobody. Wide receiver. Is Joe Horn still here? He's not. Eddie Kennison doesn't look all that good. Any good halfbacks? Not really. All right, let's go with a the receiver then. Let's take someone with a good name. Uh, Eddie Kennison. Shocked he was not a pro bowler, but pretty good receiver for the Chiefs. Good special teamer as well. Welcome to the Jets. And that will pretty much do it for the draft. All right, not a bad draft class for us, getting some of the biggest names in NFL history. Ray Lewis, Brian Dawkins, Moosin Muhammad, Terrell Owens. Not too bad for us through five rounds there with Eddie Kennison. And then the rest, you know, doesn't really even matter at all. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the league, though, see where some of these top players went. And who is the highest overall in this class? Jerome Woods, really. Marvin Harrison, I can feel that. But really, Tim, Tim Biakabatuka, Tony Banks is an 80, Ricky Dudley's an 80, 
Patrick Sapp, Randall Godfrey. I'm okay with Eddie George being an 80. But all these guys can be higher overall than Brian Dawkins. And even Laura Malloy, you could argue, could be an 80+. plus. But really, over Ray Lewis, over Simeon Rice, over Terrell Owens? These are crazy things to me. Over Musa Muhammad, over Hall of Famer Jonathan Ogden? Even over Keyshawn Johnson, who wouldn't go until the second round, who was taken number one overall? It's highway robbery, is what it is. We got a decent receiving core for Sam Darnold. The CPU will sign whoever. We got T.O., Moose, and Muhammad for him to throw to. And then on defense, Ray Lewis. Not bad. Brian Dawkins is going to start over Marcus May. And to ensure that no funny business happens, we're going to cut Marcus May. And Brian Dawkins absolutely will start. And that's pretty much all we did. All right, let's see how these stats look after a full season. You know it says we're going to sim 10 years. I'm going to cut it off at uh the necessary time we are a nice four and eleven and week 17 just what you like to see after a loss 30 to 29 over the dolphins which i can see in the top left you guys can see it my face cam's not blocking it this time four and 12 not exactly what you want to do to be fair but maybe we had some guys ball out sam darnold only threw 22 touchdowns so probably not and 3600 yards isaiah crowell was a disaster Moose and Muhammad led our team in catches. T.O. and Eddie Kedison tied. They all combined for seven touchdowns and under 2,000 yards. Is that what that is? Actually, a little over 2,000. A little over 2,000. Did the math. 2,200 or so. Offensive line, uh, not great. My cat needs to stop nudging the microphone, please. Brian Dawkins had 96 tackles, three sacks, and a pick. Pretty good season. Where was Ray Lewis in here? Did he do anything? We were playing a 3-4, correct? Where is Ray Lewis? He had 37 tackles. Odd. Why is that the case? We're in a base 3-4 scheme. Yet, he had 37 tackles. He's up to an 80 overall. Brian Dawkins is up to an 85. I had the CPU auto-progress. T.O. at an 81. Musa Muhammad at a 77. Let's go ahead and check out the awards from around the league. Phillip Rivers won MVP. Anyone from this rookie class in consideration? No. AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Leland McElroy. Ricky Dudley, number two. Lacarius Ridley, number three. Keyshawn at number four with the Colts. Eddie George at number five. Eddie Kennison, Musa Muhammad, and T.O. all back-to-back to back at six, seven, and eight. Followed by Jason Dunn, Terry Glenn with the Raiders. Defensive Rookie of the Year was Reggie Brown. Followed by Frank Spanos, Brian Dawkins, Zach Thomas with the Chiefs. DeAndre Harrison, Walt Harris, Anton Harbour, Torrey James, Alex Molden, and Bryant Mix. NFC Defensive Rookie of the Year, Kevin Hardy, Lee Ferguson, Jerome Woods with the Bucks, Ross James, Teddy Bruschi went to the Saints. Forgot about him, Randall Godfrey, Lawyer Malloy. Franklin Arnold and Michael Maslowski. Check out Offensive Rookie of the Year. And it was Marvin Harrison. You imagine Marvin Harrison coming to the league as a rookie, getting to work with Aaron Rodgers. He's up to a 93 overall. Detron Smith, Tim Biaka Batuka, Trayvon Verdon, Emmanuel Mills, Austin Byam, Ty Baldwin, Marco Battaglia, Jordan Elgin, and AJ Butler round out the top 10. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what draft class you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.